Hey guys, Panda back with you, doing another bread baking video. Now right here, I've had this uh, bread here in my Bannington. I have the liner in there. Now, in this particular bread dough, I used your normal starter, okay? Your yeast, normal store-bought yeast. This is not my sourdough. Now, in this one here, I used about one teaspoon, actually less, well, actually about half a teaspoon of salt. I used about one teaspoon of sugar. I used about two teaspoons of the store-bought yeast, every quick rise yeast, three cups of flour, two of which are unbleached all-purpose flour, and one cup of whole wheat flour. And of course, one cup and a quarter of warm water. You mix your water, your yeast, your salt, your sugar together. Mix it all up really good. Whisk it up really good. And then go ahead and stir your flour into it. Let it sit for about 30 minutes, you know, for the auto lease type of thing. And then go ahead and uh, you can get in there, pull it out like I did. I put it on the counter, floured it up. Kneaded it really good, and then put it into the Bannington for the final shape. Now, what's going to happen here, probably about another 45 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and stick this in this beautiful Dutch oven that I got for Christmas. Look at that. Cast iron Dutch oven. Smaller than my normal Dutch oven. Definitely smaller than my normal Dutch oven, which you can see right up here. Here, let's see. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see, it's like right up there. Yeah, but that's my normal one. So I'm going to be sticking it in this Dutch oven here. I don't know if I'm going to use the parchment paper or if I'm just going to try to uh, do it without parchment paper. There's quite a bit of uh, dough here rising. So we'll wait and see what happens once we get that point, guys. Be back to give you an update. Peace out. Okay, guys, panda back with you, and we are ready to put our dough in our Dutch oven. Now, I have the Dutch oven preheating in the oven at about 400 degrees. And when I put this particular regular yeasted dough in there, I'm going to cook it at about 350 for about 30 minutes. Now, this being a smaller Dutch oven that I got for Christmas, I would prefer to put the lid on it. But the thing is, I know the dough is going to continue to rise in this smaller Dutch oven, so I'm not going to be able to do that. So here's what we're going to do. I've got my scoring knife right here. We're going to go ahead and get this dough taken out of my Bannetton, lightly floured, the actual uh, insert, the fabric insert. So we're going to just dump this right out on the parchment paper. Okay? Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Put your bannetton inside, let everything dry out, don't screw around with it, and score the top of your bread, okay? Score it just like this. Yeah, see how that dough is like just spreading out? Oh man, this is going to be, this going to be something else. Here, let's go ahead and zoom this in so you guys can see what's happening here. See that? Yeah. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, Dutch oven out of the oven. This thing is hotter than a pistol grip. Let me tell you. Okay, put that right there. It's a smaller one, but you know what? I thought about trying to do the dough uh, without the parchment paper, but I'm going to go ahead and use the parchment paper. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what's going to happen in there. Yeah, this is uh, first experiment. I I don't know, guys. I love to put the lid on, but the fact is, you and I both know that is going to rise. That's going to rise. Okay, into the oven. Into the oven we go. 350 for about 30 minutes. 
and we'll see what happens. Hopefully I don't burn the hell out of it, guys. And we'll be back when it comes out the oven, toasty warm. All right, guys, Panda back with you, and it's been about 45 minutes. We're going to see what's happened here. Okay. Oh, the kitty's like running loose. The kitty's always running loose. I don't know what he's doing. All right, so got my little Dutch oven right here, right? See that? I don't know. We're, we're going to kind of see what happens here. I think I should probably, yeah, let me put that pad down on that. Go ahead. Turn that off. Let the heat naturally come out here. Yeah, no, use the uh, parchment paper. It actually works so well. You can obviously see why. But you see that, right? See that beautiful bread right there? Now, you don't get the same effect with this as you do with sourdough bread. Actually, I'm kind of disappointed with this. I expected a lot more rise. And this is really hot, by the way. But it's not burnt. Ooh, man, that's, that's super hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. But, like, uh, hopefully I didn't make a doorstop. You know, like some, it's going to... Oh, I don't know what's going to happen. You don't actually get the uh, crustiness, you know, the feel of it until it cools down like you can push on it. I just had a craving for some fresh bread, something really fast. Your sourdough bread, it's like you got to do it the day before, and then, bam, you got to sit there and have to sit overnight, then you have to dick with it the next day. Yeah. I mean, it comes out so good. I'll tell you what. Comes out so good. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I keep my bread actually like in just regular brown paper bags, but this right here is uh, part of a loaf of sourdough bread that I made uh, about five days ago. And there's no mold on that, not yet, thank God. But I mean, look at this. Yep, here, watch. See, you can see the, the squishiness in there. Yeah, I don't have a huge crumb inside there. But then again, you know, that's how I made it. And I have a nice crust on it. Beautiful crust. Rub it so gently. Yeah, look at that. So we'll see kind of what happens here with this bread here. But yeah. Do this primarily because I'm going to make a, a turkey, turkey pot pie tomorrow. Yeah, I'm using my turkey leftovers I froze. So I can make a turkey pot pie tomorrow. Yeah, I could give you guys a recipe for that, but that's my secret recipe. And we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So anyways, guys, hope you're doing good. And keep them safe and healthy. Yeah. Look at that finger. Look at that. Crooked. I'm a crooked person. See that? Crooked. That finger does wonders, though. Let me tell you what. So, yeah. All right, guys. Oh, oh, wait, wait. We gotta give a push. Look at this. It's pushing and crackling. All right, guys. Yeah. Oh man, enough of that. Okay, guys. Peace out. Panda loves you totally. And stay tuned for more. episodes, videos, whatever you want to call those, okay? But be safe. Practice distancing, safe sex. Wear a mask, wear a condom, you know, wear a mask and a condom the whole time when you're doing that. Other than that, be safe, okay, guys? Peace out.